when your boss gets off track at meetings. Has this ever happened to you? It's like, <laughs> in this video, super short, I'm gonna give you three tools that will save you so much time and headache when meetings go totally off the rails, off track, even if it's not your boss, even if it's a colleague that just like starts going down some rabbit hole. Fluff belongs on a sandwich, not a video. Let's get into it. First one, not my own wisdom. Priya Parker, the author of The Art of Gathering, says, meet for purpose, not for time. If I asked you to make a list of the last 40 meetings you had and decide whether you met for time or for purpose, I bet, and from experience doing this and asking this with clients, that 90% of your meetings and gatherings are actually structured around the time that's on your calendar and not the purpose that you're actually meeting for. That especially applies to like weekly standing meetings, right? Where the um, purpose may have been clear at one point, but then it got fuzzy. Or you got to the end of meeting, you ran out of time, and you're like, hey, we need to meet again. So you put something on the calendar, then three weeks go by, you get there, and you're not really sure why you're there. So meet for purpose rather than for time. And I'm gonna extend what Priya says and say, uh, don't just meet for purpose, uh, not for time. Build that idea into the fabric and the cult and the meeting culture of your organization. Don't let people and you don't schedule meetings that don't have a clear purpose. Maybe consider making the purpose the title of the calendar invite. Instead of meeting with blank, maybe you put your intention there or in the description you have your clear uh, purpose stated for that meeting. If purpose feels a little bit too big, you're like, hey, we just kind of, kind of need to meet and chat. It sounds like a lot of work to come up with a purpose statement. I would invite you to shrink that down, come up with an intention statement. Purpose is bigger, intention is like, no, what do we wanna get done here? What's the outcome focused intention or what's the future focused intention that we can come up with? So by the end of this meeting, I would love to have blank and make sure that that purpose is achievable in the amount of time and if you finish 15 minutes early, then the meeting's over, right? You've met for purpose. So the goal actually becomes in the meeting meet as quickly and meaningfully and efficiently as possible to get that done and then break. Give each other the gift of time. Now, uh, the reason that this is a tool, if your boss goes off the rails, it's one thing if you're leading a meeting, like you can bring people back, but if your boss goes off the rails and is wondering, if you have come up with an intention um, with them beforehand, or as a group, if you even invite, you know, start the meeting by just saying, hey, 10 seconds each, just whip around the room. What's your intention for this meeting, right? That might only take a minute if you have six people, right? Whip around the room really quick and share that. And then for the rest of the meeting, because you suggested doing that, because people shared out their intentions and they were clear, anytime boss starts to go off track or somebody starts to go off the rails a little bit, you can bring people back to intention, right? Intentions are like anchors for meetings, just like an anchor is for a boat. Things can be happening, right? Lots of content, like the river can be rushing, lots of content, conversation can be happening, but you can always come back to that anchored spot. But if that's not clear, and if it's not written, maybe somewhere where it's visual to everybody, then it's really hard to bring people back to that anchor. So make that intention visible, either in the chat if you're meeting remotely, write it up on a board or a flip chart if you're meeting uh, in person. Third little tip, two of my favorite words on the planet to come up with really great intentions are so that, right? So that has the power to transfer an objective or a goal into an intention. Now an intention, the Latin root actually means stretching or to stretch. And I love that because I think uh, intentions, unlike objectives or goals, stretch over the needs of others and pull people together. And so if you have an objective of like, hey, we got to get these uh, five thing, these five decisions made, that's an objective. Fine to have at your meeting, like better than nothing. But if you want to turn that into intention, we need to have these five decisions made so that, and then fill in the blanks, so that we can make this customer super, super happy. So that and just fill in the rest of that sentence. And what that does is add meaning and purpose to the objective, as opposed to like, we just gotta do this just because. So, so that, keep those two words tattooed on your arm if you want to, or your palm maybe, and use them all over. Add them to the ends of sentences um, to amplify and extend the purpose of why you're actually meeting so that you can meet for purpose, not for time. I'm Chad, if you like this, we got about a billion, thousand, trillion other ideas, strategies, and tips across the channel.
maybe consider subscribing. Have an awesome day.